It's it's fun, and that's what this hobby's about. Isn't oh it? gosh, yeah. And Luca will see you in the next video. Absolutely. It's probably about well, ten years ago, I bought a. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> in fact, I, I loaned one of these to Rick Salvino when he's working on his Formula One car. And I said, yeah, it, can I get that back? No, you're not getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a, a torch or a soldering iron wasn't going to cut it. So I did some research and uh, ended up building a resistant soldering rig that uh, was just perfect for that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I watched your build on that Mustang to, to see see what kind of pitfalls were going to come in. So. And really haven't. No, that's what I thought. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Ferrari. Um, is that a, what's that there? A Ferrari there? Or? If you got a good eye, you have got an awesome eye. Ah. Three thirty. Oh. Phew, it looks good. It's my dog, white. And uh, I could come in here and probably, you know, paint a body and go, oh, shit, I got fish eyes in this thing. Yeah, uh, you know what? I carry it out to the old purple pond. Yeah, Drop it off into it, and I'll go and pull another kit, and I'll go, well, let's try this. Exactly. What is that? Like the fishing thing, uh, uh, your worst day model building is, is better than your best day at work, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so okay. so true. That, that was something that, when I started watching your videos, I really liked your personality. I mean, you don't know nothing about Ed Roth, so <laughs> you, you really, I, at this point, it's time to, you know, back off, I think. But well, I'm ignorant. I'm just so ignorant. That's right. You're ignorant. <laughs> it, then you go Hollywood. <laughs> it's a good forum to do that, you know. Yeah. And you know, and, and to talk models, you know, any huh. type of models. You know, I, I just like talking styrene. Period. <laughs> yeah, we like it. We're addicted. Hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a great weekend. It's Saturday morning, and I have finally, <laughs> finally, with maybe, what, five weeks left, I can start making my Porsche Group build my priority. I have been tinkering with this. There's actually, believe it or not, a lot of work been done here. Oh boy, if you remember, <laughs> uh, this thing, it was, you know, there was a lot going on with this chassis and I had to really get things cleaned off and it, would, took, it took a lot of work because a lot of stuff I had to save, but I got things cleaned up and there's a lot of decisions that had to be made, but I am building a ratty hot rod is what it, what it is, you know, I, I discussed that and I have luckily 30 years ago bought this kit here you can see how ragged out this box is i bought this like 30 something years ago maybe even longer because it was really cheap at a swap meet and i think it's been started or something i don't know but i built luckily when i did it i wasn't really into these i just thought i'd check it out and i have most of the kit because i built actually a slammer this is the body i just wanted to play with a custom paint job and I had made this a slammer, so I didn't use any of the chassis, thank goodness. So I knew I had that, so I knew when I bought this as a rebuilder, I probably wasn't, I was going to take parts from the chat from the interior I needed, like these door panels. I really like these door panels, even though it's got a schmutz right there. I'll have to clean that up. But the basic race car door panels and stuff. But it was a rally car, so the suspension was... You know, I had to break it to get it all out. The suspension was raised for that rally car. It had the, these hideous rally tires. I don't know, I'll probably find a good use for those. And then, of course, this is what's going to be going under with these soon-to-be released from Lucas C Model Car Products or whatever I'm heck call it. I don't know, Lucas C Products. These Porsche steel wheels in different depths, and I am going to be making molds and casting these. Are these outstanding or what? And I am going to have that look right there in this car and so I got it all busted apart and uh, the engine was all together I'm not really I'll probably be putting this engine back without doing anything I'm gonna be gluing the, the deck lid shut this is gonna be a curbside 
model. I'm just concentrating on his outward appearance and underside too. I'm going to really do some cool stuff underneath. Got a lot of plans for that. The old 930 turbo kit from years ago. The chassis had a huge crack and you see that? It was really split open wide and I could not get that thing to go back together perfect to where this chassis is just tweaked and it's gonna, you know, this, this left front is gonna be really hard to get it to sit level with everything else. As much as I would like to have used this chassis because it was nice and unused and clean, this was really hard to repair to make sure it would be squared. You can see how it's leaning. So I went with, okay, I'm gonna try to clean this one up and as best as I can. I haven't gotten this off, but at first I thought I was gonna have to use this, but I have a new piece so I can I can pretty much get this out of here, I'm sure, without destroying, destroying the chassis. I've got most everything out. Uh, I'm not too worried about total cleanup because remember, this is gonna be a ratty car, so I'm gonna be hiding a lot of this garbage with imperfections because it's going to be an old used 911 and my whole plan underneath is i am going to make this grungy but i'm going to make all the suspension pieces look like really like brand new and a lot of cool suspension work has been done to the car so it does some canyon carving and work out real good i'm not really like resto rotting this thing because it's going to be classic porsche stuff but if i can make the stuff look like it's kind of performance parts and stuff i just want everything to look like brand new and clean as far as the suspension but the rest of it's going to be kind of uh, you know i've got plenty of pictures i've been saving up to get that look and that's that's what i want i was able to save the roll cage roll bar i wanted to have that in there that'll be very cool it's going to give that look i love these seats which were not available along with these you know real basic interior pieces they weren't available in that, that 930 turbo kit it all has really like real nice top of the line interior and i just want this to be bare bones so that's where i'm going i am pretty much got this ready i'm not killing myself i'm actually going to dent it up a little bit just dings and dents nothing serious it's not going to be a rust bucket i'm not going to put rust rust on it but it's going to be a pretty patinaed out natural I want it to look like natural patina, not like the car was built to look patinaed. I want it to where they, they it, it was what it was, and they just concentrated on on function over form with this car. And uh, I think I'll be able to get that look real good. I can't get this out; it's just too glued in here. And I think it'll. You can see we got a little bit of problem, and I'll probably make that look like it's damaged, old old age damage, like right here, old age damage. I'll I'll work it all in. Um, I don't have a lot of time, so I can't do a lot of reconstruction here. But I'm worried about doing too much damage here, but I got it far enough away, which it can get put back up into in there. I'm going to be able to mask all that off and work around it. So my first plan is, is, and also you see, I couldn't get these off and I don't have any extra one, the door handles. So I'm just leaving those on and work around them. I'll probably have to paint them when I'm all done. But my first plan is to shoot it in red eye, red oxide primer just to have that as my base coat for if I when I'm doing my patina and all the little tricks I'm going to do if it goes all the way down to that it'll give that rust rusted surface look and then the true primer is going to be gray primer because when I do my patina stuff and a little bit sanded and thin I want to have the the color which will be red on this car I'll probably do some sanding and it might go through the color have some thin areas and I want you know different degrees of colors i might even put a white base coat down and then the red so that i'll have all these different levels of, of colors to go through when I'm, I'm doing my patina that's going to be real fun and i'll be I'll, I'll put that all on on the next couple of videos coming up so i'm going to be documenting this car a lot we've got till september 30th to get this done and, and we are what what are we on right now we are on yeah that's what i have right now august 19th so i got I got about five months five months geez i wish i got about five weeks and i've got a few other projects that i got to jump on too that are uh, not they're pending they're ready this is like the window of opportunity to really blast this thing out this is a model i have wanted to do an idea for i wanted to do for a long time i'm really excited now and uh this is what i'm working on this is primary 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 <laughs> something really cool i want to show you real quick is, is you know when you get these buildups and how lucky it was for me to have that 930 uh, turbo 
kit that I never used at parts out of. When Fujimi did their Porsche kits, you'd get you get it. There'd be a lot of extra parts because, you know, on the 911 base, they put a lot of the other things in there that you'd use this for the 930, 911. But these were more for the, like for instance, these grills. There's the the grill for the 930 had the big, you know, because of the turbo had the big whale tail and the space for the turbo and all that stuff and I drop it the that grill is actually different than the grill that was in this duck bill one so the kit gave you two grills and luckily I had that because when I was trying to get this grill out of course look at the damage I had to do and then I got in there and ground out with my track life and a little I love these these little bits right here I just cleaned it all up and got the rest of the black out of there and so I could make room and lo and behold had a brand new fresh grill from that 930 kit fits right in there Bob's your uncle we're ready to rock so that kit it's amazing you know <laughs> this is why you're a kit hoarder I bought this old kit with all these extra parts just to have it and i've kept it all these years and it's finally paying off i yeah, i have to say yeah it might be longer than it's probably 35 years i think it was the late 80s or something at a swap meet i i bought this and a lot of these pieces and parts are going to help me out with this build i always thought to myself ah, why am i keeping this why am i keeping this but i always know nah there's a reason i'm keeping that kit and bammo, you know, I got all these extra parts to rebuild this thing. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. It makes it really fun. Oh, yeah, with that fun thing. That's right. That's why we build these model cars, these silly things, because they're fun. Here's the producers. Producers.